right now at five. Remembering the Queen of Soul, her impact on music and a nation. To see someone so special like that and as powerful as she's around the world, the world feel this. Tonight, remembering the iconic Aretha Franklin. And Ms. Franklin died this morning of pancreatic cancer. And though her voice is now silent, her remarkable sound is all over the airwaves today. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan has a look at her legendary career. You're no good. I'll break her. She sang and lived with soul and style. You better think, think, think about what's trying to do to me. The daughter of a Baptist preacher, young Aretha got her start in the church choir. She became a single mother in her teens, but she never stopped pursuing her dream. By the 1960s, she was known as the queen of soul. Her biggest hit, Respect, became an anthem of the civil rights and women's movements. Franklin won two Grammys for the song and an honorary award from Martin Luther King Jr. A string of hits followed in the 60s and 70s. Franklin recorded more than 40 top 40 singles. And collected 18 Grammy Awards for her signature mix of gospel, blues, rock, and pop. Just hopefully, I touch someone in a positive way. In 1987, she became the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But she faced a lot of heartache in her personal life. Her father was shot during a robbery and later died. Her two marriages ended in divorce, but she raised four sons, and she remained an exuberant presence on stage. I got me a man named Doctor. Oh, 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 in later years, the honors rolled in, a Presidential Medal of Freedom and a featured role at President Obama's inauguration. She stole the spotlight at the 2014 premiere for the movie Selma. But in 2017, she appeared frail, singing for Elton John's AIDS Foundation. At that point, she had already announced it would be her final year performing in concert. As word spread that she was gravely ill, Aretha's friends and fans called to say a little prayer for the Queen of Soul. Jerika Duncan, CBS News. What a voice. Well, from presidents to musicians and everyday people, Aretha Franklin is being remembered tonight for her gift. Here is what President Donald Trump had to say about her passing during a cabinet meeting this afternoon. I want to uh, begin today by expressing my condolences to the family of a person I knew well. Uh, she worked for me on numerous occasions. She was terrific. Aretha Franklin on her passing. She's brought joy to millions of lives, and her extraordinary legacy will thrive and inspire many generations to come. She was given a great gift from God, her voice, and she used it well. The president also tweeted about the loss of Franklin and sent his warmest wishes to her family. Former President Barack Obama remembered the Queen of Soul by tweeting, Aretha helped define the American experience. In her voice, we could feel our history, all of it, and in every shade, our power and our pain, our darkness and our light, our quest for redemption and our hard-won respect. May the Queen of Soul rest in eternal peace. Franklin performed at the president's first inauguration back in 2009. And celebrities have been flooding social media with condolences and tributes to the Queen of Soul. Barbara Streisand, Bette Midler, Paul McCartney, Elton John, Carol King, Lynn Manuel Miranda, and more took to Twitter to express their sympathies and share their memories of Franklin. Streisand saying, quote, it's difficult to conceive of a world without her. And McCartney writing, the memory of her greatness as a musician and a fine human being will live on with us forever. Well, all day long, fans paying tribute at Franklin's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a wreath placed at the star, as well as photos and flowers. And at the Apollo Theater in New York City, the marquee there has been changed to honor her life. That theater site of some of her most memorable performances is planning a special tribute to Franklin sometime in the near future.